We're learning more about the 2022 point in time homeless population count in Butte County. The county confirmed today that that data does show an undercount. Well, Action News Now reporter Tori Apodaca is live at a homeless encampment in Chico. So, Tori, will the undercount impact state or federal funding? Yes, it will, but we're not sure by how much just yet. The Butte County Continuum of Care says that going into this count, they already knew that COVID was going to skew the numbers. That's because a lot of the volunteers dropped out because of the Omicron surge, making it harder to contact a lot of the homeless. Federal and state funding is tied to the point in time counts. One COC member says that historically, Butte has always done pretty well when it comes to receiving help. We also received a very large for our jurisdiction uh, allocation of emergency housing vouchers, 113, and that was in good part because of what the COC does here relative to counting and tracking the homeless. So as, uh, as crippled as our efforts may be, we do a terrific job and uh, we do not suffer on the funding stream from that, uh, but we do suffer from underfunding. The COC added that the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, which collects the data, is aware of the challenges facing this count. But it won't know what money allocations will look like till everything is submitted. And the COC says that this count does more than just reveal those numbers of homeless people living out on the streets like you can see behind me, but it also gives us a good perspective on the demographics. The survey shows that 40% of the homeless people out here have claimed that they've been living here in Butte County for over 10 years, and most of them are middle-aged adults. We'll actually have the full list of all of this um, data from this report on our website for this article later tonight. For now, reporting live in Chico, Tori Apodaca, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Thank you, Tori. The COC says Butte County also has other resources of tracking homelessness and are sure this will be taken into consideration.